Chapter 12. Foreknowledge and Man's Will Many theologians and philosophers seem to find a conflict also between God's foreknowledge and man's free will. If God knows what will happen before it happens, then it must happen as he foreknew, or his foreknowledge would be wrong. That being the case, how could anyone be free to make a choice? To consider that question, we must define some terms. The biblical doctrine of foreknowledge simply states that God knows everything that will happen before it happens. The psalmist's statement, For there is not a word in my tongue, but lo, O Lord, thou knowest it altogether. Psalm 139 verse 4. It tells us that God knows every thought and word before we speak it, and has known it from eternity past, but does not say that God's foreknowledge causes these thoughts and words. At the Council of Apostles and Elders in Jerusalem, James stated clearly, Known unto God are all his works from the beginning of the world. Acts chapter 15 verse 18 To know everything he would do, God must have known every thought, word, and event that would ever occur. This biblical truth is clearly necessary if God is to be omnipotent, omniscient, and omnipresent, the creator and sustainer of all. Unquestionably, from eternity past, God must have known everything. That includes the motions of the stars and electrons, and the exact location at any nanosecond of each atom, and the earthly bodies they comprise, large and small, animate and inanimate. God knew everything that would happen to each one, and how each would function. Before he created the universe, or men, or angels, God knew every event that would ever occur in heaven or in the physical universe, and thus necessarily every thought, word, and deed of every human or angel that would ever exist. This is what it means to be God, and therefore to be omniscient.